During Saturday night's high-stakes SEC matchup between No. 11 Alabama and No. 13 LSU at Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, tensions boiled over after a controversial penalty call led to LSU fans hurling trash onto the field. ABC commentators Kirk Herbstreit and Chris Fowler, who were calling the game, didn't hold back in their response, with Herbstreit directly calling out fans for what he deemed reckless behavior that's become a concerning trend in college football this season. The incident occurred in the third quarter, with LSU trailing Alabama 21-6. LSU appeared to have secured a critical sack on Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow on third and eight, which would have forced Alabama to punt. However, a late flag for a face mask penalty on LSU defender Sevian Jones reversed the play, handing Alabama an automatic first down and extending their drive. Replays showed Jones' hand had made contact with Milrow's face mask, though it was a subtle infraction, not immediately obvious to the fans in attendance. Call sparked immediate outrage among LSU supporters, who began throwing bottles, cups, and other debris onto the field in protest. This chaotic scene, which played out on a national broadcast, drew the attention and ire of Herb Streit. He took aim at both LSU and Texas fans, referencing a similar incident three weeks prior when Texas fans threw trash on the field during a game against Georgia, which Herb Streit and Fowler had also called. Expressing frustration with this behavior becoming a thing this season, Herb Streit said, Enough's enough, clowns. Just what are you doing? This is just stupid. Adding to the scene's intensity, LSU cheerleaders were shown on camera holding up signs and placards to shield themselves from the debris being thrown from the stands. Herbstreit highlighted this image, pointing out how disheartening it was to see LSU's own cheerleaders having to defend themselves from trash thrown by home fans. That's your home cheerleaders. Just embarrassing to LSU. It's embarrassing to college football he commented, stressing that incidents like these reflect poorly on the sport as a whole. Fowler noted that the SEC had fined Texas $250,000 for the similar incident in October, and speculated that LSU could face a similar punishment. He suggested that the SEC may take these incidents seriously and could impose further penalties if trash-throwing incidents persist, a sentiment echoing the network's stance on promoting respect and good sportsmanship in the stands. Ultimately, the incident cast a shadow over what was meant to be an electrifying SEC showdown, with Herb Streit's comments resonating as a warning to fans across college football about the consequences of unsportsmanlike behavior.